For this particular work, I wanted encaustic because uh, the whole thing is about reflection and kind of uh, trapping basically the idea of uh, water or image in the water in between the layers. Encaustic kind of gives you that chance to um, uh, hover your layer a little bit and it feels from far a solid form and as you get closer it just opens up, it repels and you kind of see more layers. But uh, this one is particularly, I'm just going to consider it on lines. Wash paint in it, wash wax in it, uh, and then sh shave it off again. Do a little bit more lining. So these would be like vibrant and changing color, but also kind of embedded see-through. And I'm just fascinated with uh, Sleeping Giant as a landmark uh, and all this story attached to it. I have one picture that I kind of uh, hold on to that and it's a massive reflection of it in the water and it kind of tell, I thought like the top uh, and the bottom like kind of complete each other the reflections you know the top part's gonna be like on copper and I had my sacred geometry kind of uh, idea of having uh, this calming suiting design that will kind of uh, shows the sleeping giant the top part is the kind of for me it's if there is sleeping giant it's there and we can see it and the bottom one it's the reflection of it and uh, it's based on kind of a general rule of circle, which is the basic of sacred geometry. It has su such a feminine force and represent the world. And the colliding word creates the line, the triangle, the uh, square. All the other shapes are made with circle in this uh, method. And to me, this kind of sums up my two words, the one that I had like a home back in Iran, I have some clear vision for it. And this one, I'm learning about it, being by the water, <laughs> kind of, of figuring out what the reflection is.